Saudi Arabia, and I get along great with all of them. They buy apartments from me, they spend 40 million, 50 million. Am I supposed to dislike them? I like them very much. The king firmly denied any knowledge of it. It sounded to me like maybe these could have been rogue killers. Who knows? But his was a flat denial. As all of this has happened, our current president has continued to bend over backwards to accommodate and ignore bin Salman's worst excesses and sometimes even celebrate them. I don't like the concept of stopping an investment of $110 billion into the United States. Uh, because you know what they're going to do? They're going to take that money and spend it in Russia or China or someplace else. Even since he's taken office, we've seen three of his hotels, three of his biggest hotels. Remember, his hotels have struggled to attract American customers. Three of his biggest hotels have gotten big bumps in business from Saudi customers, the hotels in Chicago, D.C., and New York. New York, just one visit by some Saudis traveling with the Crown Prince earlier this year provided enough revenue, one visit, uh, to boost the hotel's revenue for that entire quarter. I represent the opinion section of the Washington Post that employed Jamal Khashoggi, and we're all uh, I'm struggling for the adjectives to convey our horror at these reports and our heartbreak for him and his family. And I have to say, all of those emotions are exacerbated and many times over by the notion that the President of the United States, speaking about someone who lived in the United States, someone who worked for a U.S. newspaper, someone who was doing his job, which was to um, tell the truth as he understood it about the country that he loved, that the president would describe our relations with Saudi Arabia as excellent and that the president would talk about um, these relations in dollar terms and not in humanity and human rights terms. When people call you brilliant, it's always good, especially when the person heads up Russia. Yeah. Well, I mean, it also is a person that kills journalists, political I mean, right. political opponents, yeah. and uh, invades countries. And invades countries. Obviously, uh, that uh, it would be a concern, would it not? He's running this country, and at least he's a leader. If they murder and dismember a guy, a prominent guy who lives in Virginia, U.S. permanent resident, writes for the Washington Post, has lots of powerful friends, and they cut his body up with the bone saw, as being alleged by the Turkish officials, inside a consulate. What does that mean for everyone else? That means all of us are, we have targets on our backs. When the President of the United States uh, basically express his love for tyrants and dictators, and I love him, and he loves me, and he sent me a letter, and then he comes out and say to people like you and me that we are enemy of the American people, he basically is green to all of these dictators, yeah, you can get away with murder.